We know the Bible says that we should not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. So if you have romantic feelings for an unbeliever, why isn't God just taking those away from you? In this video, we're going to talk about three possible reasons for why God isn't removing your feelings for an unbeliever. Number one, they will become a Christian one day and God wants you to be in a relationship with that person once they become saved. In the vast majority of cases, this is not the reason why you still have feelings for an unbeliever. But in this video, I wanna cover all possible aspects of this question. And therefore, we do need to consider the possibility that this person will be saved one day and then God wants you to be in a romantic relationship with this person. Because that certainly is possible, though it is unlikely. Why do I say this is unlikely? Well, the Bible calls us to live in the present and not to live our lives by what could happen. The future has millions of possible outcomes and we know none of them besides what is foretold in scripture. When you base your decisions on what you hope will happen one day, rather than on what is happening right now, you almost always end up wasting time and missing out on other good things that were available to you now. So if you're wondering if this is your situation, if you're if you're wondering, maybe this person is gonna become saved, maybe this is my future spouse, in the future once they become a Christian. My advice is to not wait too long for that reality to come into existence. Share the gospel with them. That's always a good thing to do. Invite them to church. You know, be open with your Christian community about, you know, inviting this person in to see if they're receptive. But if they aren't receptive, you have to accept this isn't gonna happen. You just have to live with the reality rather than in a fantasy. And even if they do become a Christian, I would encourage you to give them some time to mature in the Lord because it's very difficult to get into a romantic relationship instantly and not get pulled into all of the other temptations that often come with a relationship that are more easily dealt with once you have some maturity in Christ. But with all that said, God has done this type of thing before. So don't wait forever. Don't assume this is for sure gonna happen, but it is possible. Number two, God is not removing your feelings for an unbeliever because you're choosing to ruminate on these feelings and thoughts. The term rumination is a psychological term that usually refers to obsessively thinking about something negative that maybe you're trying to solve or you're just worrying about. Now, it is helpful and needed at times to think about a problem. How are you supposed to solve an issue if you don't think about it? So that's valid. Sometimes you gotta, you know, work it out, dissect it, you know, go into your heart. What's going on? What is happening with this unbeliever? What do I need to do to change? And that can be very helpful. But sometimes the actual issue is your rumination on the issue. So it's not really about this unbeliever that's, you know, causing these feelings to continue. Rather, it's your worrying and compulsive thinking about these feelings. Oh no, I don't want to have these feelings. Oh no, this is an unbeliever. I'm falling in love with an unbeliever. I really like this person. What should I do? And that whole process of thinking about it becomes the actual root issue that's fueling those thoughts to continue in an ongoing obsessive way. At times we need to accept our feelings and then redirect our attention onto positive things that get us unstuck from a negative thought cycle. By accepting your feelings, I'm not saying you are agreeing with them or that you are condoning them that they are good. Rather, I'm saying that you just acknowledge their presence without needing to freak out and run from them. Sometimes your feelings for an unbeliever will dissipate once you stop trying to fight them so hard. Now, again, I'm not saying you give in to them. I'm not saying not fighting means you accept them in that, yeah, I like this person. I'm gonna follow these feelings. I'm gonna go with this idea. That's not what I mean. But what I mean is you can fight more effectively sometimes by ignoring them, letting them die, not giving them all of your attention. Because when you're 
freaking out and fighting them and thinking about it, you're actually fueling those feelings and causing them to be more intense. And so actually the best way sometimes to overcome this type of thing is to just focus on something different. Be positive, focus on loving the people in your life. Letting those thoughts say, I have a thought there that this person, I like this person, I have these feelings, they're there move on. By accepting that you have romantic feelings and accepting that you also don't want to have these feelings and then moving on with your day, focusing on the present, oftentimes your feelings for this person will then just go away on their own. The biblical solution to unwanted thoughts and feelings is not just to avoid them, but rather to replace them with what is good. And number three, you may be struggling with these feelings and not being able to let these feelings go for this unbeliever because you've come to believe that this is your best chance of ever getting married. Many times a Christian gets tempted to fall for an unbeliever because they've believed the lie and they've given in to the doubt that they're never gonna find a Christian that they like and a Christian that likes them. But they also have a strong desire to be married. And so they feel like, this whole Christian thing just isn't gonna work for me. I need to kind of open up my horizon and this unbeliever showing me attention, they seem to be interested. I'm attracted to them, I like hanging out with them. Then you attach your desire for marriage onto this unbeliever. So to solve this type of situation, what you need to do is resolve in your heart that you would rather be single rather than getting married to an unbeliever. You have to have a radical obedience and submission to God and to his word. And you say, this is what scripture says. It says, do not be unequally yoked. It says, God wants me to be married to another Christian so that I can honor him and not be distracted. And I'm gonna accept that truth no matter what. So instead of being unequally yoked, God wants Christians to only pair up with other Christians so they can serve Christ as one unit. And for most Christians, once they fully commit to following the Lord no matter what, he often does also provide them with other blessings they were hoping to receive. Here's a playlist of past videos I've done on this topic of romantic feelings for an unbeliever. I'm Mark from applygodsword.com. Hope this was helpful content. Until next time, God bless.